All right, everyone, welcome back. This is game number two here between Nurcio and White Raw. This time we are on Shatter Temple, and yes, game two in a best of three series. Right now, Nurcio is up 1 0, besting White Raw last game due to a strong economic advantage. We saw White Raw push out on Nurcio's third. He took out the third, but Nurcio, with a counterattack, was able to completely devastate White Raw's economy, a favor that White Raw didn't return to Nurcio. And as a result, being so far behind economically, there's no way he could really defend himself. Uh, and that, that exact point of the game is what lost him the game once he lost almost all of his workers that is that might as well throw in the towel but white raw being a pro staying classy decided to stay in and give it a shot anyways looks like this game we will be seeing a forge fast expand from white raw uh, very interesting he is in of course this near position here to nurtio so nurtio does have that opportunity to be aggressive keep in mind also these back destructible rocks will come into play uh, white raw is gonna have a hard time this map in particular as opposed to the map we saw last time shakur's plateau much more difficult to pull off a Forge Fast Expand here. I mean, look at how wide this entrance is. Uh, at, when compared to the, the ramp for, uh, for, for you know, Shakur's Plateau, it's just much more difficult to get this up and keep it defended. So I am concerned for White Raw, given the close position, given how aggressive Inertio could play, and just how wide this entrance is. This is a little bit scary, in all honesty. We're going to be seeing this gateway. Looks like that will be placed right there at the corner. And then we got Forge, uh, Cyber Next Core, a couple of cannons, maybe another forge to finish that wall off we'll have to wait and see i'm sorry i meant forge first i don't know what i was talking about so yes forge first it is a forge fast expand that is the implication there Nurcio opening up pool first, and let's see when he gets his scouting done. There it is. So Nurcio now knows what's going on, immediately dropping that extractor there as well. And again, I will be very interested to see, given the fact that he's in close positions, how he decides to play this out. He can try to push into a little bit of a macro game, but we do have to keep in mind it's going to be difficult for Nurcio to move into a third, and that's pretty scary as a Zerg player. So you really need to be aggressive early, especially if that Protoss is going to forge fast expand, making him a little more vulnerable early earlier on in the game. So let's again keep a close eye as to what Nurcio decides to do. We've got those first two Zerglings. There is the Queen. One big thing too is he needs to stop White Raw from scouting him out. He will want Zerglings positioned over here to stop any secondary scoutings. Uh, maybe even possibly not expand and make White Raw think he has expanded and then push out super aggressive. But there is the Roach Warren already. I expected that and beautiful play there. Check in the corner for that probe. He wants to make sure that White Raw does not see this. He does not want White Raw to see that this push is coming right now so here we go probe dropping the proxy pile on trying to delay that expansion Although well, I'm not certain uh, that Nurcio plans on expanding quite as of yet. Now there's that probe. Do expect him to pull back, and there we go. That, uh, again, is fully expected. He will be trying to work his way up into the main, and he might make it. Oh, getting just a few shots off, but the probe walking into the main. The queen's going to try to do what he can to deny any of the scouting, and let's see if White Rock sees it. Oh, I really do not know. I think he did. I really think he saw that, but let's uh, try to confirm. Yeah, he saw a building. I'm not sure if he was able to click on it, though. Uh, White Rock needs to be very, very careful, because once those roaches come into play, this could be really scary for him indeed. Couple Zerglings moving across the map. We got those four. Are they going to be sneaking by the one cannon? No, no, they are not. Deciding not to walk in that way. Uh, let's see what he decides to do. Is he going to wait till he gets a mass amount of roaches? There's two There's two ways he can really play this. He could try to work through the back rocks. That'll take quite a bit longer. Or he can, you know, know that he's going to take damage to those cannons. Try to bust through any weak points. This is a prime example. Uh, get those roaches up here. Snipe down this forge and then stream those Zerglings in. So he's going to get just enough roaches to bust the wall and then use those Zerglings to just mess up White Raw. That's going to be his plan. Really going to come down to how White Raw is able to defend, as we can see, uh, not getting up his expansion until now, just investing so much into this initial early push. Let's take a look here. We've got six Roaches in play. Right now, the three Speedlings, um, Army Supply, obviously huge advantage. White Raw's got absolutely nothing, and he can actually sneak right by because the wall isn't complete. So Roach is walking right up into the Expo. Oh, and this is not good at all for White Raw. White Raw has got roaches in his base. There's nothing he can do to stop it. He's chrono boosting nothing out of his gateway either. We've got those workers trying to come down. They were trying to block those roaches, but not quick enough. So White Raw has got roaches right up in his main, and this is going to be a problem. Looks like he will just be walking down, throwing away this Nexus. Uh, the roaches probably won't be walking back down for fear of losing themselves to those cannons there. But this is a problem. Again, White Raw, see you later. I mean, this is gone. The Nexus is a goner. He's got nothing 
to defend against it. He can't. He's got one uh, one Stalker coming out and one Zealot coming out. It's going to be a little while longer until he can actually manage to take out these Roaches. Good thing about the Stalker, though, a little range advantage at this point, plus that speed advantage. He's going to be able to micro around and try to kill off these Roaches. So with some good micro, he might actually be able to stop this from happening. He needs to pull back. There we go. Doesn't want to lose much more than his shields. Just needs to be very careful. White Raw, ooh, please pay attention to that Stalker. This is very important. We've got one Zealot at the same time moving across the map, trying to do some economic damage in return. I'm not sure, though, that White Raw is going to be able to save this. That Nexus is getting very, very low right now, trying to move back and forth and target fire down those Stalkers. Back over here, one Zealot. There's a second Zealot as well. We'll be trying to do some economic damage. Trying to stay away from those Roaches. Be careful. Ooh, very close, White Raw. That Stalker is getting very low. There are the Zealots taking out the Queen. We'll start to work on those drones as well. And the Stalker pulling back just at the right time. Pretty scary situation, though. Uh, that Stalker is very low. Roaches won't be able to reach the Econ line from there. And here we go. Zealots doing quite a bit of damage to Nurtio's expansion. Turning around. We'll start to work on these drones as well. This is a little scary for Nurtio. Nurtio's taking some pretty heavy losses here as well. Take a look at the unit loss tab. They're actually dead even right now. Looks like this Roach is going to get taken out. And there we go. The Roach is sneaking down. They did lose a few to those cannons. Trying to get us around, though. Nice block off here with White Raw by those workers. That's going to allow this Stalker to take out the Roach. There the Zealots trying to work on this expansion. Zerg is going to full surround plus that Roach and see you later Zealots. The Zealots are going to get dropped. Will they manage to take this down? It doesn't look like they're going to be able to take it down. Doing quite a bit of damage though. Hatchery is very, very weakened right now. The Roaches have been taken out and oh my gosh, it has been pretty crazy. White Raw really did want to drop that expansion especially since he lost his main. I don't think it's the end of the game yet, but it's pretty close right now. Uh, now we don't have any of that research coming through. There was just not enough SP in there for White Raw. Oh no, those Zerglings sneaking right on up, killing the stalker and this is not good for white raw uh, this if he could have defended himself from that point forward i really wish that he just put down another building for that block off instead of putting up that stalker that could have saved him here but it's looking like he might be losing this nexus he's got a few more units coming through does have a worker sitting over there as well but here we go nurtio still has the base up and white raw going to be losing this he's trying to engage those as much as possible uh, but just microing back he needs to wait actually until he gets a zealot or two in here White Raw loses this. There's no way he's going to be back in the game. He doesn't even have the resources to build another one. He cannot lose this Nexus. Zealot's pushing forward to try to help engage. We are seeing a little bit of micro from those workers trying to stay away and just do some damage and pull back as much as possible. And those Zerglings, if they can take this out, it's pretty devastating. White Raw chasing around those Zerglings with those two Zealots. And this is looking really good for Nurtio and not so good for White Raw. White Raw is investing so much energy to try to kill off these rogue Zerglings inside of his base. That one Zealot was actually sitting idly for a second. Second and Zergling gets dropped, but oh my gosh. Back over here, Nurtio, nice saturation at the main, nice saturation at the natural. He's got some more roaches coming on through. White Raw still doesn't even have that warp gate research again. He's just been so far behind. Right now, he's just trying to get up his income, his, his resource economy, and actually trying to push forward and still do some damage. He will be trying to drop this hatchery. He's going to try to all in for it. No, in fact, target firing down some of these workers, trying to get some of these roaches, and White Raw just calling the GG again. White Raw opened up with Forge Fast Expand this game, however, that proves to be pretty risky on this map with such a wide, wide choke point into your natural expansion. In addition, we had his opponent, Nurtio, in a close position. Realizing how vulnerable White Raw was, we did see an early game Roach attack with a few Zerglings in the mix as well from Nurtio. He was able to walk right on into White Raw's base because he did not have that wall off complete, and this was a big problem. These Roaches in his base so early on proved to be very detrimental to White Raw. With Roaches inside of White Raw's base, Nurtio target fired down and killed White Raw's main nexus. At the same time, White Raw pushed out with a couple of zealots and used those to harass Nurtio's expansion. However, he, although he was able to do a bit of damage, he didn't actually take out the hatchery, and this is why Nurtio was in a solid position because Nurtio killing off White Raw's main nexus and saving his natural expansion hatchery uh, put him quite a bit ahead. White Raw eventually killed off the Roaches in his main, however we immediately saw a speedling counterattack and White Raw not with that full wall off and just that Stalker, it got taken out immediately. This allowed Nurtio to sneak Zerglings right on into the expansion and continue, continue to disrupt White Raw's economy and this forced the GG. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Looks like Nurtio does win this best of three series 2-0. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this commentary. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep watching and keep owning.